joining today with the Housing for All campaign because we want to say that we need affordable housing now. We're very happy the mayor put in a huge investment, $100 million, to uh, long-term affordable housing, but that isn't going to come online for another couple of years, and we need housing now. There are 600 families in DC's emergency shelter system right now, and they can't wait another two years for housing. So we're here to say the Housing Authority is closing because it is a symptom of a larger problem, and the DC Council needs to fund affordable housing programs now. It's a disgrace how folk have been pushed out of DC, and the rents go higher and higher, and we have to reverse that. We have to provide a truly affordable housing for all our residents and bring the working class back. The people have been pushed out. We got to reverse it. We have to have a livable city for all people. I moved back into DC. My son was three years old and got on the list. He's now about to be 14 years old. I'm mentally disabled. And so much is going on with mentally disabled people that they're focusing on guns put them where they need to be. Housing is important to us and to the clients that we serve at the Women's Collective because for women who are either at risk or living with HIV or AIDS, housing is healthcare. Housing prevents people from being in situations where the health concerns they have with a compromised immune system become exacerbated. It allows people to adhere to the medical regimens that will keep them healthier and actually ultimately suppress their viral load and prevent transmission. And then for girls or women who are at risk of infection with HIV, having a stable housing, having stable housing in general, prevents the risky behavior, behaviors that can ultimately lead to infection. I've been on housing list for almost seven years now, still waiting for housing. Even dealing with my housing, they told me that if you have HIV and AIDS, that you will receive housing within two years. Still on the list. I'm a DC resident, been a DC resident most of my life, worked here uh, most of my life, and lived here most of my life. And I've always had a place to stay, and I run into the economic hard times, and the company I was working for laid us off. And it's been hard to find work because everywhere I go, they're downsizing, and I don't know their, uh, their criteria that they're using, but you know, it's just hard because now, here I am, I'm 60 years old. Sometimes I'm, it's messed with my mental state and my health and everything too, you know, because the shelter life is just something that's hard to get used to. And when I have my own place, I'm used to cooking for myself, eating, taking care of my diet and everything, you know, and now I'm not even getting the nutrition that I need. Let's end homelessness today. DC Council, what do you say? Let's end homelessness today. DC Council, what do you say? Let's end homelessness today. DC Council, what do you say? Let's end homelessness today.